Hello everyone and welcome to the Fellow Engineers YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing probability and statistics and primarily focus on measures of central tendencies. If some observations are considered to be more significant than others, a weighted mean can be calculated. The equation shown here defines a weighted arithmetic mean, which is the x value. The wi is the weighted assignment, and the xi is the sum or the variable for each point. So let's get right into an example problem, shall we? So each of the four exams are weighted. And we're going to look to find the student's final grade in the course from the results. So we're given four exams, each score being 80%, 95%, 72%, and another 95%. And each of them are given a particular weight. So with us being tasked to solve the final grade of the students after these four exams, we're going to use the weighted mean equation that we were just introduced to. The WI variable is going to be the weight and I being, for an example, um, exam 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then the XI will be the percentage. So for the numerator, we're going to do the sum of each of the scores times its weight, and then divided by the total weight. So as you see here, we are able to run the calculation from the formula and calculate a final grade of 89%.
So let's get right into an example to determine what this example and formula mean. So what is most nearly the geometric mean of the following data set? So we're given samples of 0 0.82, 1.96, 2.22, 0 0.19, and 1. And we're asked to find the sample geometric mean. So for starters, we're going to do the n root, and n being the number of data points given to us, which for this instance is 5. And then we're just going to multiply each of these data points together. And once we get that and plug it into our calculator, we get an answer to be roughly 0.93. The root mean square, or RMS value of a series of observations, is defined by the square root of 1 over n times the sum of the variables or the data points squared. So let's get right into an example problem to figure out how we can utilize this. So there have been four water levels on a tank that are measured to be 2.5 meters, 4.2 meters, 5.6 meters, and 3.3 meters. And we're going to find the root mean square value of the water level for that day. So for starters, let's jot down the formula that we were just introduced. Now we're trying to find the root mean square, which is on the left side of the equation. So we need to determine what n is, as well as x, xi. So n being the number of data points, which is 4 for this scenario, we know what 1 over n will be. Now we just need to do the sum of the data points squared. So that will be 2.5 squared, and then 4.2 squared, 5.6 squared, 3.3 squared, and those will all be summed up together. Now when you plug that into your calculator, you'll get roughly a value of 4.1, which will be your answer. So that concludes my YouTube video today regarding probability and statistics focusing primarily on measures of central tendencies. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful at all, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to help me progress in the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to click on this video and have a great one, guys. See ya.